example, on a very basic scale of thinking about the environment and what you're putting into it, with shifting to the toe and foot, putting liquid form on, you get a lot more benefit. So you go from, say you before when you're putting on bulk, you'd be putting on 100 kilos in application, just for an example, whereas straight away you can move to 50 kilos of urea because you're putting on in liquid form. So there's a lot better uptake from the plant. And obviously once you start learning more about it, then you're probably gonna put a little bit less urea on as well and more often because the plant can't take up 50 kilos anyway. With the kale, we'll put do four applications of a mixture of fish and urea. So do about 10 litres of fish it and about 30 litres of urea. And I do that every sort of three to four weeks. And that's just catching when the kale is actively growing. It's had four applications now, which totaling 120 kilos of urea. That's it as well as 300 kilos of solid serpentine super 10k. That's all these crops have had. In respect to the grass, these haven't had any urea this season. Um, we're three years into our fish it journey, so what that is is building up the soil health. Um, and now, yeah, we've got some pretty nice healthy soil, lots of worms and that's doing its own thing. So we don't put any urea on the grass now, we don't need it. Uh, but we are using the time for it to put fish it on and we do that about 30 litres after every round of baleage and so we'd, this, this grass here has had three cuts of baleage off it and yeah so after that we've done 30 litres of fish it through the nozzles and we can this last round in March we put some trace elements in so put some copper, cobalt, zinc, iodine for um, the young stock for these lambs that we've got coming on. Business wise, Tom Furt has yeah, reduced our fertilizer costs a lot. Just use urea for example, urea and fish it because they sort of go hand in hand. Um, obviously this grass hasn't had any urea on it this year because of the Tom Furt because we've been able to put fish it on. So that's 100% save in urea application on this grass. Um, in respect to the kale paddocks. So the, the kale is 70 hectares of the farm and 70 hectares of grass. So for us, it's quite a big portion of the farm. Um, and with the kale paddocks, we have put on 120 kilos total of urea, which in the past that we would have done three times that. So on a basic business model, um, yeah, it's very successful and We've also, with using the fish it, with the help of Tom for it, um, we've got better pastures, better crops. So all in all, it's yeah, it's been been a great business um, investment, and it would have because of those reductions in fruit costs and increase in production, um, it would have it easily paid for itself in the first season. And now we make three thousand bales. Um, on the farm before we probably had to buy in about 500 bales maybe depending on the season maybe 300 um, but now since we've had the time for it we haven't had to buy any more bales in and all those 3,000 bales go onto the winter crop for feeding the cows. Mm -hmm.